today we will uh, solve a problem design problem wherein the load will be given and we are supposed to select section in order to resist the given load okay uh, so this is our first problem design a single angle discontinuous strut to carry a factored axial compressive load of 60 kN. The length of strut is 3 meter between intersections. It is connected to 12 mm thick gusset plate by 20 mm diameter 4.6 grade bolts. Use steel of grade FE410. So this is our, our problem statement. And uh, we have to select suitable angle section from steel table. Now, a discontinuous strut is usually uh, found in truss. So, this is a truss member. And since this is a truss member, uh, we can start with design compressive stress with a value of 90 Newton per mm square. We have seen this in previous section uh, that for a section which is of a truss member, for such members, we can assume design compressive stress as 90 Newton per mm square. And it has to resist a load of 60 kN. It is given. So, area of the section required comes to be 666.67 mm square. Now, we have to find this particular uh, section with this particular area. We have to find a section with this particular area. Now it is given that the strut is connected with bolts. So it is having bolted connections. Uh, since this is having bolted connections, it means the end con connections of the member are both members, uh, sorry, the both ends are hinge type of joints. Okay. And when both ends are hinged joints, IS code recommends effective length as 0 0.85 times original length. Let us go to that particular uh, table given by IS code, uh, which says here, yeah, if both ends are hinge connections, then we have to use 0 0.85 times L, the length. Okay. So, our effective length is 0 0.85 times 3000, which is 2550 mm. Now, uh, we need to find such angle section whose area is uh, approximately 666.67 mm square. So, if you see, uh, this is equal angle section and what we have done, we have selected 90 by 90 by 12 mm. Okay, 90 by 90 by 12 mm. So for 90 by 90 by 12, if you see the last row here, its area is 2019 mm square. Okay, uh, you can select lesser uh, area also, which is closer to 666.67. Uh, deliberately, a section with higher area is selected. Uh, you can go with uh, 6 mm thickness section, 8 mm thickness section, 10 mm thickness section, 12 mm thickness section. Even you can change this 90 by 90 to 80 by 80, 70 by 70, provided that area is at least more than equal or equal to 666 mm square. Okay. Uh, so we have selected 2019 mm square area with 12 mm thickness of the section 90 by 90 by 12 okay and that we have already mentioned here if you see now after selecting the section we need to find what is the compression load carrying capacity of the section for that we need slenderness ratio slenderness ratio is kl by r minimum 
R minimum is given by R X X and R Y Y values. R X X and R Y Y values again you will get from the steel table. Uh, so there is another part on another next page. Uh, we will find uh, R X X and R Y Y values for the same section. Okay. So R Y Y is usually minimum value which is given at seventeen point four centimeter. So in millimeter it is one seventy four mm. This value is also got from steel table. So slenderness ratio for this angle section is one forty six point five five. Now. For a particular slenderness ratio and yield stress value of the section, we have design compressors values, which is FCD. Okay, which is FCD. So, FCD value can be calculated now using the next step. Now, we need to go to IS 800 2007 uh, table 9C. Why 9C? Because as per the section classification, this angle section is of class C. Where has this uh, we have got? We have got from again section classification. If you remember yesterday's uh, part, I shall just go to that particular section classification table for any angle section, channel section, T section, and solid section. Buckling class is C. Okay, buckling class is C. So, as for the section classification, this angle section is of class C. So, for class C in IS code, we have been given the table for design compressive stress. This is on page number 42. Okay, class C table 9. Okay, class C table 9. And how much is our slenderness ratio? If you see, it is 146.55. Now you come to that table on IS 800. If you see here, this table here, yield stress values are given starting from 200, 210, 220, 230, 240, 250. It goes up to 540 Newton per mm square. In our design problem, since it is hot rolled steel, for hot rolled steel, FY is 250. So for most of the design problems, you will select this column. Values under this column. Now, our slenderness ratio value lies between 140 and 150. I have marked them here. 140 and 150. Okay. Now, for 140 slenderness ratio, compressive stress, design compressive stress value is 66.2. I have noted down here. For 150, it is 59.2. That also I have noted down here. However, for our selected section, design, uh, sorry, slenderness ratio is 146.55. So how much will be FCD, design compressive stress, for this particular slenderness ratio? So we will follow the interpolation. Okay. So for 140, it is 66.2. For 150, it is 59.2. So as my slenderness ratio goes on increasing, FCD goes on reducing. So from 62, 66.2, the next value I shall subtract. Hence, it is minus. Now, how to do the interpolation? 66.2 minus 59.2. This is our first bracket. Multiplied by 140 minus 146.55. Totally divided by 140 minus 150. So, whatever is this ratio, you subtract it from 66.2, you will get design compressive stress for 146.55 slenderness ratio. That comes to be 61.615 Newton per mm square.
after this we just substitute this value for evaluating the compression load carrying capacity of the section that is calculated using area into stress area of the selected section is 2019 that we have already seen and fcd is 61.615 which is calculated in the pvs step mm -hmm. convert this load in kilo newton so divide it by 1000 so you will get 124.4 kilo newton as the design load carrying capacity and it has to resist 60 kilo newton only so selected section is able to resist 60 kilo newton load because its capacity is 124.4 okay so our selected section is uh, okay and we can now use this section for this strut member okay this is how the design problems of the compression members are 